with BA.5, now the dominant variant of COVID-19 in the U.S., protection from the first vaccine doses are now less effective. As one doctor said, it's clear that those boosted once last year have seen substantial reductions in immunity since their vaccinations last year. So when exactly should people be getting their second COVID booster? To help us answer that, Fox Medical Team's Dr. Mike joins us live. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure, Leslie. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about vaccines and the BA5 variant. I myself was boosted once upon a time. It's It's been months. It's on my vaccine card. But when do I get that second booster shot? Should I get it? Well, uh, the the evidence suggests that after about four months or so, uh, immunity starts to wane. Now, I don't know your your background as far as whether you are in a high risk category. Uh, I, you're very very young, so you're not in the elderly population. But look, the the bottom line is is that if there if you meet criteria, uh, I would get that second booster. Now, why? Because there is a tremendous amount of COVID going around right now. I'm seeing about five or six cases a day. Now, um, there's a new uh, vaccine coming out in the fall that will be tailored to Omicron. Uh, and I think that that's the one that really will be uh, a, a, a very, very big part of our armamentarium, our ability to fight off um, serious illness with COVID-19. But uh, right now we're seeing a ton of cases. Um, the other thing is that if you were to get COVID, we have Paxlovid, that's what President Biden's getting right now. Paxlovid is a pill. It's available. It's easy to administer. Uh, and uh, the, the, the people that are at high risk, again, I've been treating with that. Not one of my patients has ended up in the hospital on a ventilator. So, Dr. Mike, what I'm hearing is that if you're relatively healthy, perhaps we should wait for that fall vac fall booster vaccine that you're saying. However, if you're someone who's in a high risk category and or the elderly, it's a good idea to get the second COVID booster now. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct, Leslie. So and the way to think about it is you want to either be in the front of the line for the new booster or at the end of the line for the new booster. So if you're high risk and you need that second booster, you get it now, you'll be protected and you don't have to run for that new one. Mm -hmm. If you're going to hold off, then you might want to be closer to the front of the line for that new booster. Yeah, and then, but that's I you I like the way you think. I like the way you think. <laughs> Dr. Mike, real quick, before I let you go, let's talk a little bit about symptoms with BA5. Are, are they similar? Are they different? What are people seeing and, and what are recommendations if, if you don't qualify for getting Paxlovid? Talk with your health care provider because so, it, it, every, every case is an individual case. So, um, to answer your question, what are the symptoms? Uh, stuffy nose, sore throat, feeling run down, muscle aches, uh, like a bad cold. And that's the tricky part because we then have to decide, is it something else? There's all kinds of viruses out there, Coxsackie virus and a lot of things circulating uh, besides COVID-19. But mm -hmm. that, that's different than back in the day when we lost taste and smell and, and all of that. It has morphed, if you will, a bit. But yes. um, if you're vaccinated, we have medication, going to be okay. All right. I appreciate you, Dr. Mike. You mentioned those symptoms earlier. I like to refer those as OG COVID cases. I was one of those, uh, but <laughs> good to hear that those are no longer the symptoms. We appreciate your time this morning. You take care, Leslie. Love you. You're the best. You rock. <laughs> you take care. You rock.